Hello friends, I hope you are doing fine. Today we will make a twisted tap bit in SolidWorks. Uh, I hope you like it. Let's see how to do in SolidWorks. It's simple and widely used tap bit. M14 by 1.5 mm dormer tap bit. So let's see how to do this in SolidWorks. So now let's start here. We will make M14 by 1.5 mm tap bit. So select here right plane sketch and start choose here line and uh, I will start above the line up to origin skip delete line and start from origin it's better okay exit now let's define this geometry 75 mm this side wall let's keep 7.5 mm Forty mm. Uh, let's keep in proper position. Keep four mm and keep the length twelve mm. Okay. Now here select revolve boss base. Select the bottom line as axis. You can see it here. Okay. Let's define the raw material. Satin finish is stainless steel. Okay, that's fine. Choose chamfer. Keep 2 mm and select this face. Okay, that's it. Now, here we want to make some groove or some cutouts. So, we will do one thing select this face sketch normal and let's draw a geometry first make center line okay now choose here line connect up to this line and little go above the circle and convert it into an arc exit now the basic thing 3.4 mm and uh, this one by default may be 4 mm it's by default and outside you can keep anything it's up to you this length also you can keep anything now the geometry is fully defined choose here fillet Keep 0.5 mm and select this corner. That's it. Now simply exit. Now just take right plane sketch. Okay. Now select line here and draw a little tapered line, not horizontal, little tapered, and convert this end into arc. Exit. Center line and draw here a straight horizontal line exit select the line construction line and make relation horizontal now let's make the angle between this 0.88 degree it's a small angle and keep the length 60 mm and let's say radius 10 mm and okay take this circle little out this is the this this is the path for thread cutting or uh, not thread cutting it is for passage cutting so simply exit now select here swift cut now you can see the path is selected just select the profile so this is the our triangle profile see it's going to cut here okay now it's cut we need multiple number of this patterns select here circular pattern and directly select this cutout or you can select it from here also 
and now here there are many options either select a circular face or select axis so let's select any circular face this is circular three numbers 360 degree equal spacing okay today is my computer is slow so okay now you can see we cut three flutes here that's it now we want to twist it so here you will find one option twist i think if you will not find here just go to insert feature and you will find here flex see select the body here here select twisting and degree 180 degree then come down and here okay this okay the here the dimension is perfect no need to define anything select okay now it's going to twist you can see it here see it is twist due to twist some portion is higher some is lower so we want to trim upper face select this face a sketch circle and find out the midpoint and draw one circle here and keep the diameter 14 mm okay now select extruded cut keep long 65 mm and select here flip side to cut we want to cut above the outside of circle see it's going to cut some surfaces okay now here it's cut the surfaces now it's become perfect now it's time to create the thread first we will create a plane plane select this face keep 10 mm in this direction okay now select this uh, plane a sketch and uh, previous circle also there you can select this previous circle a sketch for and convert entities now see it's converted here now for creating thread we need to find out the path so i prefer helix and spiral now see here keep height and pitch constant pitch a uh, height uh, i prefer 70 mm and pitch 1.5 is sufficient 180 degree reverse direction clockwise this one known is taper because we want to create uh, a straight thread okay now here the thread is created now hide this plane now we, we we want to create some profile so let's choose here right plane a sketch normal go to surface and here select polygon and here you will keep three number of parameters in stripe circle and draw exit select the bottom line horizontal relation that's it now let's define Zero point nine one nine five mm. It's a small circle, not too big. Select here fillet. Zero point two one six and select this end. Okay, that's fixed. Now select. smart dimension and select the distance from here to this point keep 14.2 mm this is quite better 14.2 mm now select exit and select here swift cut Uh, let me select the profile and select this path after selecting this path you will see 
the preview here see select here okay now after calculation uh, it will cut the thread around the body now you can see here see we cut here threads keep remember we are going to make a tab bit twisted tab bit now it's time to extend this face so select here right plane a sketch select line and start from mid midpoint midpoint to end point uh go little up and connect again midpoint okay now let's define it keep 10 mm 35 mm and keep the length only 5 mm now the geometry is fully defined so select here revolve boss base keep merge result okay now this is the now select this face sketch uh first define center point because uh, it's always difficult to find okay so this is the center point choose here uh, center rectangle draw a rectangle and define it 7 by 7 even you can select the with the help of uh, now select extrude and extrude only up to 10 mm see here merge result okay fill it point 2 and select this outer corner okay now here we want to make some sharp edge so the same procedure right plane and uh, i will draw a free geometry start from midpoint okay i'll i'll not give any dimension it's a free geometry it's up to you uh, how you will manage it now select here revolve cut you can select this line as a axis select here okay now we made it a sharp edge here see this is the sharp edge now this is the our twisted tap bit if uh, Uh, we will do one thing we will make some a uh, naming here with embossing uh, function so choose right plane sketch and let's start to draw choose center line exit select here text select line and write here text this is dormer brand tab bit dormer m14 by 1.5 mm uh here mid uh, center align selected uncheck and choose the font we want to keep the font uh, let's say 2.5 or keep bold select 2.5 this is better bold 2.5 okay now exit and go to here feature and here you will find wrap command there are many options the emboss deboss or uh, but normally it is deboss 
this is the face and uh, d was 0.2 mm that's it select here ok that's it now you can see here it is a d boss inside select this and you can choose the color so it helps to identify ok so this is the dormer tab bit I hope you like it. Please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Don't forget to share and like our videos. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.